Hello, this is Scott. So I wanted to do a short video specifically to neural net uh, machine learning for uh, unplanned readmissions data. So this uh, this is a data set that I've used before. You can see my other videos on surgical site infection. This comes out of a book by uh, Linda Miner um, on on healthcare, and and you can find that in my library. But uh, it comes from the sources, University of Iowa, Dr. Cromwell had offered this as a training data set. And so we're using it for that. Um, just very quick on the data, there's an ID. Um, there's unplanned readmissions. One is if there is a readmission, zero if not. Age, there are four surgeons in this data set, I believe. Um, Yep, and expected blood loss, the APGAR score, which is a, a well-known um, diagnostic, and then um, hemoglobin within uh, 60 days. I'm sorry, actually, this is a metabolite. This is not hemoglobin. This is a this is a, a metabolite um, that's present um, in a value within 60 days. The American uh, anesthesiologist uh, score, um, gender, and then the wound class uh, for the procedure. And the whole point of this is determining whether someone's going to have a surgical site infection. And actually, they're determining this while the patient is still in the operating room. So what's the likelihood of a readmission? So our focus today is on neural nets. And so I'm going to uh, show you how to train up in Statistica uh, a neural net real quick. So I'm going to go to home, I'm going to say new, and then I'm going to get a workspace. And so I'm going to design a flow for this. I'm going to go ahead and select this data set that I have, and there it is. So that's a, a data, and I'm going to create a visual workflow. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is this unplanned readmission. I know it's, it's numeric, and so what I want to do is I want to uh, create a, uh, I, want, I want that to be, um, non-numeric. So I'm going to make one slight transformation on this variable. I'm going to change the data type. So I'm going to go to all specs. This unplanned readmission right now is coming in as a double. I'm going to change it to text. This could be yes, no. Um, it's one and zero. So I, I'm making that a categorical, which I'm going to use as my target variable. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to data and then I'm going to create some sampling. I'm going to define a, a training and testing set. This will append my current data set with an additional variable at the very end. I'll call that variable train test. Um, I'm only going to create two uh, sets. One is um, a training set that I'll build my models with, and the second set will be a testing set to see how those models perform. Um, and I'm going to uh, do a random sample of 70 and 30. Um, and so if I do that, what I do is I get a set that looks very similar to what I just saw, but I'm randomly assigning a training and testing with about a 70-30 proportion there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a grouping. So I'm going to do a subset, so a subset by group, and then I'll create a pathway. I'll direct traffic based upon that train test variable that I just created. And when I execute that, what happens is I get a testing data set. Make this a little bit bigger. And then a training set. So I'm going to build my models with my training set, and then I'm going to test them um, against this set. I would normally do some, maybe some feature selections. Again, I'm not going to do a lot of different model building. I'm not necessarily selecting Champion Challenger. I'm simply showing you the capability of doing neural nets within Statistica today. So if I go up to my data mining, um, I can grab a uh, classification, um, automatic neural network, and then I can double click on this and I can set my parameters. I'm going to use almost all of the default parameters for this. Um, so I am going, but I'm going to try to predict as my categorical target the unplanned readmission. 
And then I'll select all my different continuous inputs except for the ID, obviously. Uh, I would definitely overtrain if I use that. And then categorical, I'm going to use everything but this uh, train test indicator. I'll click OK. Um, and I've got an issue in that I don't need the target as part of my input set. So I'll uncheck that, click OK. OK, my gosh. Now it undid my first one. There we go. Let's see if this works. Ah, finally, success. All right, and then I can select, again, different um, ways to configure the neural net. And so it's going to do some cross-validation internally. Um, and I can change the, the weights for the, the training, testing, um, et cetera. And I can, if I wanted to do a radial base function, I can do, I can check this box to do a radial base function, but by default, I just basically do a, a multi-layer perceptron um, neural net. And I'm just going to leave the defaults because the defaults work really pretty well uh, within Statistica. I can look at the activation functions for the hidden uh, layer um, in the output layer and the weight decays. And so, again, I, I'm just going to use the defaults here. Um, and then I could get certain additional output, but I'm going to leave the output right here for, for minimal. Um, um, and then. Actually, one thing that I might want, well, let's see. Um, I'll just leave these. I'm just kind of scanning scanning through. I could maybe do a confusion matrix. Um, this is not too valuable here. It's really valuable how well I perform on the actual um, a holdout set than the actual training set. So. I'll click OK, and if I wanted to, I could even get uh, predictions um, down as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start that, and then I'll I'll train this up. That will generate five models by default, so I'll have five different um, of the of neural nets um, in the output, and then I can select, and it's going to select the best performing one. Um, and then I can run that against the, uh, uh, I'm trying to make this a little bit uh, better looking. Um, and then I can uh, I can uh, look at the evaluation of the different models. All right, so again, let me just go back here, look at the output in Statistica. And what I have here is I've had my training, and as I said, there were five generated. And I can see the various um, parameters. They're, again, all MLPs in the various performance. This one um, looks like it uh, performed best on the, the training. Um, and anyway, I won't get too deep into the weeds for uh, for this, but there it provides a lot of different output here, um, and the the actual classifications um, between the planned and unplanned, um, and a gains chart um, for both categories, and then um, then I think an ROC curve. So ROC curve here um, as well. But the main thing is how well does this model perform on the holdout set that I created? So what I can do here is I can set this test set up against this rapid deployment here. And then um, I want predicted values and I want the output. So how well I want the, the output for the predictions as well as the inputs. And then um, I can include the prediction probabilities in the output. I will select a, I could select a gains chart, uh, two different kinds of lift charts. I'll just do a lift value itself. Um, 
I can save off the results. I just want to do an ROC curve here. I want to get the area under the curve. I can even do a profit chart if I put in the values for the cost for incorrect observation or incorrect uh, classification. Um, and then I could get a confusion matrix as well, which I'll do that. And then I'll get just the summary of deployment um, down here. All right, so just a couple more things. Let me just run this. This is running the holdout set against that model that I just created. If I look at the output here, I can see where I'm assigning correctly and incorrectly. Um, it's a little, it, 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 this data is sorted. So up at the top, I was hitting some, some incorrect. I'm doing a little bit better here. And then I'm running, I've got another run in here. So overall, how well did I do? Um, I have an error rate of 23.7%. Um, so there is opportunity to do better. But again, this is a pretty simple data set. I get a lift at the, the 10th percentile, about a 40% lift over a base model. And then here's the value for the ROC itself, the, the raw statistics. And here's the ROC with the area under the curve of 77%. So anyway, that is very quickly how you can build a, a neural net. I could deploy these to, to enterprise. I have lots of different options. Hopefully you've seen some of the other videos on how to do those functions. Thanks again.